Hey geniuses, in this video I want to show you how you can use name markers with your Lottie animations. If you've been playing segments of your animations before, you've probably been using arrays of frame numbers. Well, with this method, instead of using raw frame numbers, you can actually define names for the different parts of your segments and then use those to play these segments in JavaScript. So it's a much more time efficient and easier way to play different parts of your Lottie animations. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so we're going to start off in After Effects, and this is the animation I'm going to be using. As you can see, it's in three very clear different segments. So the bird running, and then the explosion, and then the feathers falling. So I could, if I wanted to place different segments, I could uh, look at the frames down here, and then go to the end of this segment, see that it's at frame 23 and then just define from 0 to 23 play this part and then from 23 to 34 play the explosion and then 34 onwards play the feathers um, an easier way to do that is to use named markers so what I'm going to do is place a marker for every segment so one there one there and one there and that's not all. We're going to have to double click on these markers. And then I'm going to add a duration. So I've put 10 uh, and just so it's easier to drag it. So I'm going to drag that out. And then the same here, just give it a duration. And then the feathers will stop around here. around there okay you can also give them colors if you just want to see them a bit better and then crop my timeline to that and then we're going to go back in and this is the important part you're going to delete the comment open up some brackets and put double quotes name close it and then give it a name inside of double quotes as well so my bird in this segment the bird is running so I'm just going to call it bird and then do the same here open up name uh, explosion close that off so it's pretty simple uh, just got to remember to name stuff properly otherwise it won't work and use the double quotes as well. Okay, so that's all that's needed. You can now export that out with the Lottie Files plugin and I'll see you on CodePen. Okay, so over on CodePen, I've just got my basic Lottie load animation and then an event listener for when it's loaded. And then instead of doing play segments, Instead of doing animation.play segments, you would use animation.go to and play. And then the name of your segment, and either true or false. If you want to wait until the current segment has finished playing to play the new segment. So I'm just going to put true so it will play straight away. And that's it really. So I can use bird. I can use explosion. There we go. Or I can use feathers. And as you can see, it's a much friendlier way than using raw frames. And it just looks a lot more explicit. So, with that done, you can then perhaps integrate a few more different sort of interactions. Here I've got uh, handlers for my different parts so that I can play the explosion on click and then when that segment has finished I will play the feathers and there we go and that is how to use named markers with Lottie animations if this video helped you out or you need help 
with anything to do with Lottie, be sure to leave it in the comments and I will get back to you very soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.